Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video um, I put out to you guys to ask me questions all about my pregnancy. This is a pregnancy question and answer, so I'm going to be answering all the questions that you submitted via Instagram or Facebook. Um, so yeah, I hope that you stick around and listen to your answers. The first question was how did you find out you were pregnant? Um, basically, I thought I had an infection. <laughs> um, I wasn't sure, I, I just thought I had cystitis and um, I was experiencing some pain and discomfort and I wasn't like, I wasn't really, I, I just, that's what I just thought it was. There was no, like, it didn't even cross my mind that I was pregnant. Um, I asked a friend of mine, because I was currently doing Slimming Wild, and I remember asking a friend, if you were on Slimming Wild, but you thought you had cystitis, <laughs> would you drink all the cranberry juice that you felt you needed? Or would you go, nope, cranberry juice is this many sins, I can only have this much. I said, because I don't want to like fall off the wagon, like weight wise, I'm doing really well, but it's my health, doesn't that come first? And she actually said to me, are you sure you're not pregnant? <laughs> Um, she said, I thought I had cystitis once and I actually was pregnant, so maybe you should check that out. And I remember thinking, well, I could be because I'm one day late, but I, the previous month, I was nine days late. So I wasn't even going to think about the possibility of being pregnant until I was a few more days late. But when she said that, I thought, well, I am a day late, so... Who knows? And that weekend I was actually going away with my mum and we planned on having a bottle of wine each in the hotel room and just, that was when I thought, well, maybe I should check because if I am, I don't want to be drinking at the weekend. So I had pregnancy tests already at home. Um, I bought a few because I've had some times when I thought I might be. So I've just got them at home anyway. So I took a test <laughs> and two lines came up and I remember just being like there's two lines there that that means I'm pregnant but this can't be real like all I've ever wanted was to get married and have a family and I just couldn't quite believe it like I can't be pregnant like we're not even trying like nah it's it's too good to be true and I'm only a day late so in my head I was like it's probably just a false positive I'm, I'm not sure and um basically <laughs> I remember going into the next room and I just said to Johnny, okay, don't freak out, but there's two lines. And he thought it was an ovulation test because I'd previously tricked him. <laughs> like, a few days before, I'd actually took an ovulation test and sent it to him, pretending, like, to see how he would react. And he thought it was a pregnancy test. I was like, no, it's just an ovulation test, don't worry. Um, so he just thought it was another ovulation test. And um, he was like... So what does that mean? You're ovulating, and I was like, "No, this one isn't. A, this one isn't an ovulation test. This is a pregnancy test. They just look the same, but this this is a pregnancy test." And he was like, "So that means you're pregnant?" I was like, "Yeah, I'm pregnant." And literally, we were both in shock. Like, okay, um, like we just weren't expecting it. So then I said, "Should I just call my friend and just like double check? I'll just send her a picture because it could just be a false positive." And he said, "Yeah, okay." went in the next room and I messaged my friend and I said, I need your help. And she just put question mark. And I sent her the, the pregnancy test and she rang me and she was like, you are 100% pregnant. She was like, you can get false negatives, but you can't get a false positive. If there's two lines, it's because you've got HCG in your system and you only get that if you're pregnant. I can promise you, you're 100% pregnant. So anyway, I took another test just to be sure. I was like, okay, I just wanna take another one, just, you know, and yeah the line came up again at darker. So the next thing we did was put in our family WhatsApp group. I was like, okay guys, don't freak out. And then I like, I was like, it's early days, but, and I sent the picture. And I just remember my brother being like, shut up, no way, does this mean what I think it means? And that was it. We were just like, I can't believe we're, I'm, ha I'm pregnant, we're having a baby. So we went straight to the supermarket and got a digital test went back over to my parents and thought we'd do one with them. So did a pregnancy test there just so that we could physically see it say you are pregnant. And 
I remember me, Johnny, my mum and dad all in the kitchen, like standing, waiting, like, come on, come on. And yeah, it said pregnant. And I think it said four to six weeks, I think. So, um, but we worked out because I'd already been like monitoring my periods and ovulation and stuff. So we worked out I was actually four weeks and two days pregnant. And that was it. That's how we found out. So it was a shock, but it was a really nice shock. Um, yeah. So the next question I've been asked is, were you actively trying to get pregnant or was it an accident? And, um, it was an accident, but a very pleasant accident. Uh, we weren't trying. We kind of, we kept changing the bar. Like we were going to start trying in March and then we said, well, we've got our, our one year anniversary all inclusive we've got a couple of big parties and things coming up we've got a festival a camping at so we were like let's leave it let's do those things Sarah you can have your drinking at your system <laughs> that's what I was thinking and you know just get it done and then say goodbye to it and start trying um but that just didn't happen <laughs> um so I basically just come off the pill because I thought it would take a while to get out of my system. I was very conscious of the fact that some people try and it takes them a long time. So I just thought if I get my body ready now. So I was taking folic acid and I came off the pill. And then first time. We were just lucky. <laughs> okay, what trimester am I in and how have my symptoms been so far? I'm in the third trimester. Baby is due within weeks now. I think about eight eight weeks now so um now i'm at the real hard part <laughs> um my symptoms have been up and down i did have morning sickness up until 18 and a half weeks so i was sleeping a lot and feeling unwell i never actually vomited um stretching pains have been new to me obviously and quite uncomfortable um I will actually link my videos, I've got videos on my trimester symptoms, so I've got the first trimester and the second trimester, so I will link them below because I now can't remember what came at what point, but I have pretty much had all the typical pregnancy symptoms. Um, and I think the first trimester was hard because it was just something I was getting used to and everything was changing and I was suddenly really lethargic and tired and no energy, feeling sick all the time. Um, and the third trimester, that's very hard too. <laughs> again, I'm feeling sick again. I'm getting all my sickness back and acid reflux. That is a killer. I've got that every day, every night. So, but so close to D-Day. I don't care. I'm just excited. I'm going to meet my little boy soon. Um, so yeah, but I'll link below the video so you can watch those and actually see the exact symptoms that I've had. Did you get implantation bleeding? No. Um, no. <laughs> I I didn't. I haven't had any bleeding, so been quite lucky, I guess. Yeah. Next question, in what ways has being pregnant changed or affected your marriage? Um, I think other than the general stresses of, okay, there's a baby coming, we've now got to work out where we're gonna put this and that, and things will get more, like, more expensive, our food bill and things like that, like, that's just general every day, like, everyone's gonna think of those things when they're pregnant. Um, because you're you've got another mouth to feed and you've got less space for yourself um but it hasn't like affected our marriage we've actually been really close a lot closer and it's been lovely because we both sit there and get excited and Johnny um talks to the baby puts his head on the belly and he talks and I just love it I lie there and I just look at my belly and I've got his head there talking to the baby and and we both feel the kicks and we just, we sit there and talk about how excited we are for him to come and soon he's going to be here, he's going to be sitting on our laps, we're going to have his little fingers wrapped around our finger and it's actually just been so nice. It's been really lovely, it's just drawn us closer together and we are so excited. Johnny's already talking about baby number two and three and four and five, so <laughs> he's very happy <laughs> and um, yeah, even though I found the changes with my body and everything hard, I just remember there's a little baby in there that we made and yeah it's just draw, drawn us closer together we're just so over the moon our family is expanding and it's just really exciting how did you tell people you're pregnant this is interesting because we did it in several different ways what we did was 
I will link the video below rather than going into every detail, but we have a video, our pregnancy announcement video, and um, it shows who we told and how. So we told some people together, we told some people via a cake or a card or a gift, like, I won't go into it. I will link the video, you have to watch it, but it's really good. Um, but it was really nice because we met with our family members face to face, anyone that we could, if we did sometimes have not free, not free, and it was like, ah, we didn't want to wait, so we had to just WhatsApp, <laughs> WhatsApp the scan picture. But um, everyone that we could get together in person, we did, and it was really lovely. So I'll link that video below. Make sure you watch it. It's a really quick video, but it's lovely. Everyone's reactions, and it was nice that we got to do it in different ways. Because um, I think you go, how do we want to announce it? Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, that's a good idea. And we kind of just got lots of good ideas put together and just did it all. Um, and obviously once we hit the 12, because we told family a bit early, um, just because we had family visiting from other countries. So we were like, it's just the time. We've got a scan. We had an early scan at seven weeks. So we said, let's tell them we've got a scan. We've got a picture of a baby there growing. Like, well, not a baby, but you know what I mean? Um, obviously at seven weeks. Not really anything there, but like a little jelly bean. But yeah, so we were like, let's just do it this way and then tell them to keep it quiet. And then at 12 weeks, we just put a post up on Instagram and Facebook and it went crazy. <laughs> it was your typical picture of the scan, picture of a baby grow, pretty fairy lights around it. Guess what, people? <laughs> um, it was lovely. So yeah, I'll link that video below, so make sure you watch it. Whose idea was it to find out the gender? Um, that would be me. <laughs> We always said that we wouldn't find out the gender of our baby. It would be a case of, let's just have it as a surprise. My mum always said the first baby is nice to have a surprise. So that was stuck in my head and that was what we were going to do. But the further it got along, I was like, to know that the sonographer um, is going to know what baby is inside me and I won't is like, I want to know. If you're going to know, I want to know. And also all the symptoms that I was having were very much... If you go online and they say, how can you tell it's a girl? How can you tell it's a boy? And they list the symptoms, the cravings, blah, blah, blah. Everything was girl. Everything was girl. I was convinced we were having a girl. Johnny was convinced, my family. Everyone wanted me to have a boy, but everyone was convinced I was having a girl. So I got to the point where I thought, I really want to find out. I, I want to know. And I'm really glad that we did find out because obviously we're not having a girl, we're having a boy. And it's just nice to get mentally prepared for that because I honestly couldn't see it. Even when they told us that we were having a boy, I was still like, that's not, that doesn't seem quite right. Because I've never ever pictured myself with a boy. I've always pictured myself with a girl. So I've made it very real in my head what I thought it should be. So I'm really glad that we did get, like, told what the gender was so I could get my head around it and we could plan. And it's actually been lovely. We've got lots of baby boy stuff. Baby boy clothes are so cute. And I'm over the moon now. I can't wait to meet my little man. And... You know, maybe we'll have a girl another day, but I'm not even worried right now because I'm so excited to meet our little boy. <laughs> and the last question is, what are your best and worst things about being pregnant? I would say, let's start with the worst because we want to finish this video on a high. Um, the worst things are the stretching pains, the acid reflux, the tightening, the feeling sick, having no energy, waddling because you can barely move, sleepless nights, I can't get comfortable. Just the general... Everyone gets it when they're pregnant um, and it's not pleasant. But the best bits make it totally worth it and the best bits are the movements and the kicks. So now that I'm in the third trimester, I'm 31 weeks, the kicks are a lot more intense. I don't even have to feel, like put my hand there to, to feel it. Like I could always feel it inside anyway. But now it's a case of I can just look at my belly and I can see it like <laughs> moving around. And because obviously he's bigger, everything's a lot more definitive and when he moves or turns I can feel it and when he kicks it's like he's trying to kick through my skin and get out and sometimes I literally jump and I'm like oh my goodness oh, it was just a kick because it just takes you by surprise but it's amazing and and also scans scans are amazing to see your baby inside moving and clasping his hand and putting it in front of his face and opening his mouth and kicking out and it is just crazy to think there's a little baby in there. So, yeah, they are the best moments. And everyone keeps reminding me no matter how hard labour is and how hard it will be to, to be a mum. 
it's just worth it and I I'm ready because I've wanted this a long time so I would recommend it and I would do it again I mean I know I haven't been through labour but I want our child to have a sibling so I'll just I'll just do it again because I have to <laughs> um but yeah anyway thank you for sending me your questions guys it's really nice when um, I get your feedback and your involvement and I know what you want to know and um, it really does help me in my videos and it shows that you're supporting my channel which is amazing so thank you so much don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and if you think of any more questions just leave them in the comments below and I will answer them as best I can and um, don't forget to subscribe I'll see you again soon